Hello everyone, welcome and thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Jessica, I'm a quantum hypnosis practitioner based in Brooklyn, New York. I do in-person QHHT and online beyond quantum hypnosis sessions. In this video, I wanted to share information about an upcoming event that has been coming through almost every one of my sessions as well as a possible future event that is also connected to the whole ascension process. But first, I want to say that this is one of my first videos and going forward I just want to document the patterns that I get from my sessions and from my own channeling of my guides. Because when they line up or when my guides urge me to share anything, then I'll post about it. Um, so for this video, I wanted to share a couple of sessions that kind of sum up the energy that's coming through. And I'm sharing these sessions because they also align with each other, as well as with information that came through for myself back in February of 2017 when I had my own regression with Alba Weinman. And the information is also aligning with channeled information that's been coming through for myself from my guides. So because of this significance, I really wanted to share it and my guides have also urged me to share it as well. So there was talk back earlier this year of 2018 that there was gonna be this big event in around March of this year. And there was a lot of information and sessions coming through for many quantum hypnosis practitioners out there regarding this quote unquote event that would take place. And it was described by clients as seeing colors in the sky or clouds of colors or mists of colors and people were physically seeing it in their QHHT or BQH sessions. And when the time came around in March and nothing happened physically, nobody saw anything or at least majority of people on earth didn't see anything, there was some disappointment. But what I believe is that there was some sort of energetic upgrade at the time and that we just couldn't perceive it with our physical eyes. I know that for me, since March, there has been so much happening on an energetic level and that that sort of like that time period just sort of kicked off this this period of intense purging and release of old patterns and negativity. And at that time, or at the same time, it really upgraded me immensely to where now energy is really flowing rapidly and I'm connecting to my guides really strongly in ways that I probably would have freaked out about before, but there's this whole new world that sort of opened up for me in front of my eyes really overnight since about the end of March. So I urge you to be open to the energy and information that comes through and don't dismiss it because it's only when you're open can you really receive it. So keep in mind that everyone is having their own experience when it comes to any energetic upgrades or event type situations out there. Um, so in my quantum hypnosis sessions, people might see visions that might be happening on an energetic level, but what might be happening is that they might not necessarily be seen in the physical. Maybe in their hypnosis sessions, they're seeing it on this higher vibrational, higher frequency energetic level. I'm also, um, I also believe that there are a series of events, not just one, that are retuning or recalibrating and upgrading our energy, especially based around any planetary and star alignments and energetic alignments of that nature on a more galactic scale. So this video is gonna be a bit long, but please stick with it um, because it's got some really interesting information. I'm sharing about three sessions, um, one of them from back in December of 2017, and two of them from this month earlier uh, in this month of July. At this point, we don't really need to clarify if the ascension is happening. There's been enough information and energetic evidence for me, at least, 
to know that it's happening and that we are in it. So right now I'm on a mission to share information about certain events to look out for in this ascension process, information that has been coming through my sessions and my channeling, and also to share information about the new earth. And keep in mind that everything that comes through are possibilities. When I channel information, the guides have said that it's all possibilities and the information that comes through quantum hypnosis sessions are often coming through the perspective and experience of that individual. So it might not be relevant for everyone. There is a dominant timeline that the information can be channeled through, and I'll talk about timelines in another video, but again, we just need to stay diligent in whatever comes up in our physical reality in the here and now. And it's good to be informed of possibilities in order to stay aware of anything that might be coming. And I do want to make a final note before I get started with sharing my sessions that I do not claim any truth. Any information that comes through this video is for entertainment purposes only and for you to use your own discernment and belief system. I do want to thank my clients who have agreed to let me share their information in order to help spread this information to anyone who is meant to listen to it. Okay, so finally getting into it. First, I want to talk about how this quote-unquote event is showing up in almost every session that I'm having. Clients have been talking about these, this colorful light coming through and coming through the walls and bringing with it an energetic upgrade. There seems to be a consensus that this type of event will be happening soon and that most, if not all, all of humanity will be highly aware of it. So I had a client back in December of 2017. I'll call him Client A. And he had a big spirit team that came through. And one of them or some of them were the Arcturians. And they came, to, came through to talk about a coming event. And so I asked them, uh, what message do the Arcturians have for my client today? And they said, the event is coming. We are here. We are watching the event. And it's also good to note that in many of my sessions regarding the event, there are always these beings watching or, or the beings that are my client's guides of some sort, extraterrestrial guides. They're always watching above the earth. They're watching the earth and they're saying that the event is coming. So I went on to ask, what is the event? And they said, wave of energy is moving across vast space. It is upgrading. The universe is being dot dot dot, a ripple. It's opening up a new realm. Humans are evolving. I asked, when will this energy ripple happen exactly? And they said, it's on its way. It's almost here. I asked, is there something we would notice when it comes? And they said, minds will be open, you will feel more, you will see in a different way, you will see more. Then I asked, is there a physical event that will happen or is this going to be just energetic? And what came through was that there will be a physical event, but those who resonate and are in tune with the vibrations will be protected. They did say... I mean, this came through, it said, some will die, some will walk right into it, but there is no death. There is just a new awareness. I asked, where does this energy source come from? They said, from the center, from source. Then I asked, so will it be harmful? Is there something to be worried about? And they said, no, nothing to be worried about. And again, it's stressed over and over again. Every single time I ask, is this something to be, or is this something we have to be worried about or will this harm us or something? And it always comes through that no, there's nothing to worry about. Everything is going exactly how it's meant to go. Um, so then I asked my client A's spirit team about the new earth and how, how do we know when we're on the new earth? And what came through was that everything will feel different. Everything will be different. You will feel light. Senses will be expanded. 
your capabilities will be expanded. Some people will gradually see the changes, just very slow and gradual. Others will be out of the body and directly into new earth density. Others will go slowly, almost in a fit, in a panic. Then I asked, is there a cutting off point? And what came through was that everyone will eventually come to this new earth, the ascension, the doors will be closing soon. When this happens, the only way to new earth is through expiring through the body. And I said, do you mean being reborn? And what came through was yes. So over the months, I've noticed that description of this quote unquote event have gotten more detailed. And I'm not sure if it has something to do with our proximity to the actual event or if we've just become more aware. But regardless, I'd like to share the information just in case. So my next client is client B and she's a recent client that I had earlier this month in July and her guides came through to talk about the event as well. And the information that came through also aligned to a few other sessions that I've had recently that I'm not sharing, but um, the information is generally the same. And she said, or her guides came in and said, the light is coming. It will be beautiful. You will see the light and you will connect to the light. It will clear everything and lift you up. It will lift you up. There will be changes, good changes, because the light will be ruling. The darkness will lose their power and the light shall prevail. It will lift everything up to higher consciousness and people will want to love again. I asked, can you tell me what the light will look like from human eyes? And what came through was like a bright, almost blinding, misty white fog, but it's constant. It's static and constant. It won't fade. It's everywhere the same. It will be stronger where there is no nature because nature has some light of its own too. And I said, so are you talking about the cities where it says it'll be stronger where there's no nature? And what came through was yes, so it'll be stronger. Where there is harder energy, there is dark energy that needs to be cleared and it will clear it. It's very strong. Talking about the lights, the light's gonna be clearing the dark energy where there's harder energy, which in perspective, are these bigger cities. And then I asked, can I ask you to show my client, client B, to the moment when the light comes? Where will she be? And what came through was she will be in her room. She will be painting, and then she'll walk up to the window and she will see. It will go through the windows inside. She feels lots of love and sense of calm. She feels like something is changing inside and her skin is glowing. It's shining. She will feel happy. She will feel a little overwhelmed, but she will lie down and she will embrace it and connect to it. She will know when it comes. A lot of people will know when it comes. It will be an instant knowing and feeling uplifted. So I had another client this month. I'll say her name is Client C. And she described this light event similar, and she described it as sparkly, and that it was misty. She said it's like a clear cloud, but sort of with a hint of color. There are light colors, but everyone will see it differently. That's the key. Everyone is going to see it differently based upon where you are, where your frequency, vibration, and perspective is at. Um, So that was interesting. And with client C, I took her forward to when she will experience this event. And she said, I'm in my room sleeping, but I awaken with a feeling. I know it. It's night and there are colors in the sky. There are colors in the sky that are coming closer. It's bright. I can see the sky, but I also see the colors. It's shining. Pink, purple, yellow, green, blue. It's like the northern lights but it's coming, it's reaching out into our atmosphere. The sky is lit up with colors. You can see the stars. I feel excited and happy. I lay in my bed again and I wait. The feeling gets stronger. 
the feeling of intense love and vibration. It's tingly. Whoa, it's like a vibration. Everything is vibrating. And so she says that she feels this strong vibrating. And she's laying on her bed and she said that it feels like the bed is vibrating. She also said that it comes inside the room. It looks like light, a little foggy, but also clear. And I asked her, my, my client C, what happens to our bodies? What is the purpose of this light event? And what came through was that it prepares us. It changes our DNA. It awakens the DNA. The ones that are not working will work. We will become more aware of what is really real. Because in the old earth, it's illusion. And we will be aware of the truth and what is real. Now, going back to client B, I asked client B, I just kind of inserted that client C because there is that similarity in what the, this light event looked like, the whole misty uh, feeling, um, and being aware of it when it comes. And so going back to client B, I asked, so what should people do when this light event comes? And what came through was just meditate, sit down in peace, lie down, just close your eyes and connect. When I was channeling information about this light event, the information that came through for me personally regarding the same question was what I should do is to get up and dance. So when this happens, if it happens, if you find yourself uh, in the midst of this whole light thing, do what you feel called to do. So going back to client B, I asked her spirit team, so will there be people who will be scared? And what came through was there will be. They will come for guidance to people that know, so they will be soothed. But some won't understand, and that's okay. Not everyone will, and that's the way it's meant to be. I asked, can you tell me how long this light will stay? Something made me think about, okay, I, I don't think this is going to be like a one-day thing. Something, something made me think that it'll be longer. And what came through was uh, my client B said, I'm hearing days, maybe even a week, but it could be different for different people depending how open you are. Later, I did a channeling about how long this light event would last. And what came through was that it would stick around for a few days as well. That also came through. But again, things change and timelines change, so you never know, and I'm just kind of putting that information out there. Then I went on to ask Client B's spirit team, so will we be able to communicate with each other during this time, during the time when the event comes, or when this light, fog, whatever it is, comes? And what came through was that there will be a different sense of communication, almost like telepathy. You will feel even plants and animals around you. You will feel them in a very, very natural and intuitive way. I asked, so will our technology work to communicate with others? Like, I was thinking, would our phones work? You know, maybe our computers or whatever. And what came through was that we won't need it. I feel like it won't work. My client was saying, I feel like it won't work because all of the signals that are being sent, it's not good, it's not good for healing. The electromagnetic signals that this technology sends is not good for healing and it's not needed. In my own channeling, I also got that this light slash fog event is going to be very healing. All of us will be healed. So it makes sense that technology it makes sense not to have all of those electromagnetic signals in the air while it's happening, but you never know. I then asked about timeline, and I know that timelines can change based upon various factors, but I've had many clients talk about, in terms of timeline, that it's coming soon. And client B said that it's it's going to happen when the leaves hit the ground. She said, I see leaves falling down and they're all very colorful. So client B thought that it was going to be around autumn. It felt like autumn to her, 
when it was shown to her. But then she also said that in her vision, her birthday came up and her birthday falls in February. So she felt that it might be either a prolonged thing, like it's coming in waves or any time between autumn and maybe late winter or early spring. And my client C had talked about a timeline in terms of a few months before May. So again, we're not going to be too stuck on a timeline, but be open and aware and allow whatever to happen to happen whenever it's supposed to. And just, again, be open and aware. Okay, so going back to client B, I asked, so will it affect, will this event affect everyone? What came through was yes, it will affect everyone and there's no place to hide. So whatever energy you're at, even if you don't resonate with the light, you will be faced with it. You won't move forward the same way. I asked, is this light wave only on earth or is this happening to other planets as well? And what came through is that it's already happened everywhere. It's just us. It's just us that needs to go through it. And everyone is impatiently awaiting. They're waiting and waiting and waiting so that they can move forward with their ascension. If we cross this, it'll allow them to go forward, to go further in their learning process. But us, Earth, is keeping everyone stuck. She said, I'm feeling because there was this bad energy that took over for a long time, it created this place where everything got stuck because we weren't able to defend ourselves from that like others can. So it affected us too deeply. Then I asked, can you tell me where this bad energy comes from? And so in my client B's session, she kept seeing this gray alien being pop into her vision. And so when I asked this question, she saw this gray alien being pop into her vision again. And so she said, you know, I'm seeing this gray alien alien again, and I also see black holes. Those beings came from those black holes. They disconnected from the good, from the source. They wanted to create their own way, and they needed energy and came to get it here from us, from Earth, because we couldn't protect ourselves. We didn't even notice. They took advantage of that. They have no more power from what I'm being shown and from what I'm being told. They're there watching, and they're sad because they can't be part of the good. But they won't be harmed, of course. But they're just there in space, and they're sad. They feel very sad. So the whole purpose of this event or series of events within this Ascension timeline is to release old negative energy and embrace in a more elevated, heightened awareness and consciousness. And because of all the negative energy and karma that the Earth and humans have had in a cycle all of these years, it's going to take a lot to release all of that, and that's what's basically happening right now. That's what all of these events are happening in the Ascension timeline. It's The purpose is to release that negative energy. And this is where my next topic comes in, because I want to talk about what we know as the pole shift. A few clients have asked about it in their sessions, and... I actually also asked about it in my own personal hypnosis session with Alba Wyman earlier in 2017. And from what I can tell, the pole shift is not the same thing as this quote-unquote event that I just spoke about in this video and that many others are talking about. Pole shift information has been coming through client sessions and it's also been heavily coming through in my channeling. So I'll go through... Uh, that information in more detail in a later video, but for now, I want to talk about um, in my recent channelings, my guides have spoken about natural disasters that come with the pole shift process. The whole shift happens gradually over a few years, and we're in the beginning process of it right now. This is the information that's been coming through. So we're going to be starting to notice more and more natural disasters 
and we should prepare ourselves accordingly, but not through fear. It's just good to be aware and to be open to the information just in case. So the poles are shifting according to my guides, according to a lot of information that's been coming through my sessions. Um, and what's been coming through is that it's part of the ascension process. What's also come through is that the pole shift and ascension process are one and the same. Experiences do not depend on frequency. It depends on an energetic level of awareness within the entire collective. When I asked my guides if the pole shift can be a peaceful process if we wanted it on a collective awareness level, what came through was that the pull shift cannot be peaceful because its purpose is to release bad energy from Earth. Your experience depends on the frequency of the individual, but also collective awareness too. And at the collective awareness level currently, it is easily fearful of the polarity shift. It's been stressed that there's nothing to be afraid of. You'll be exactly where you need to be. And if you feel the urge to move, then you need to follow that feeling and move when you feel called to and to wherever you feel called to. But again, there's nothing to be afraid of. You'll be exactly where you need to be. This is stressed over and over and over again. Everyone is guided during this time. There are so many higher dimensional guides and beings that are helping. So it just depends on whether you're listening or not, because your channel to receive guidance from your spirit team at this time is so open. So if you're receiving ideas, messages, strong intuition, inspiration, or feelings, then you have to follow it. This is in regards to everything, not just about moving. It's you're receiving information and messages about your purpose, your career, your relationships, your family, everything. It's everything. So let's go back to my client A, who I first spoke about and who, whose session we had back in December of 2017. And I first want to state that I don't want to put any fear out there. I'm all about focusing on the positive and following your inspiration. But sometimes, even for me, it's good to just be informed so that we're aware and we can continue focusing on what, what we're doing and, and doing what we love. So I'm just simply sharing for the message to get out there and because my guides are urging me, so I just have to do it and allow that message to just do what it's supposed to in terms of spreading awareness to anyone who's meant to hear it. And again, keep in mind that it's been stressed in every session that talks about the event or the pole shift that there's nothing to be afraid of. Everything is working out perfectly and you will be exactly where you need to be. Okay, so... Going back to client A, <laughs> client A has recurring prophetic dreams. He had a vivid dream about 9-11, about six months before it happened. He dreamt about the LA earthquake before it happened, and he's had dreams about the new earth as well. And at the time of the session in December, he had been having these vivid dreams about these earth changes and the pole shift along with some sort of disaster in New York City, possibly related to the pole shift. And when I asked his spirit team about his troubling dreams, Metatron came through and said, quote, he holds the keys to time. The visions are the rings, ripples. They emanate out like ripples. He captures them. They come from the sun. They come into him in waves. He's just recording them. They are just possibilities. I think he knows that they are just possibilities. He has seen futures that have come to pass. He has seen the matrix. He is understanding the difference between the world and the possible future world. 3D, the density, the direction that it's going. He sees it, which is why he wants to inform others. They are going in a microcosm within a microcosm of life. This is the path of the third density. It's a lower vibration. He's seen the children. He's seen the fire. 
He doesn't have to worry about this. He's worried, though. He wants to inform so many people, but he can't save everyone. They have their own paths. They have their own destinies to fulfill, and some of them are in the matrix. It's very hard for them to break the illusion. They'll see when they want to. He can't force them. Focus on source, on love, light, forgiveness, and trust. His heart needs to trust. I then asked, he's had some dreams about the pole shift and earth changes. Is this a third dimensional thing? And they said yes. And then I asked, will everyone feel it? They said, people of the third density will feel its physical ramifications. It's a necessity for the fifth density for people to walk into the fifth, the new earth. These changes are needed to reacclimate and retune the self to the ascended plane. This is all being done. New earth exists. It's already ready. But the shift here is still slow and long. There's tampering. There's tampering with the earth here too. And I asked, what do you mean by tampering? They said, the environments, the water, the air, the food, the energies, it's keeping people vibrating low. He has to stop being attached to his devices. He's attached to the cellular. It's keeping him from, vi- from vibrating higher. He has to stop sleeping near the Wi-Fi. It scrambles the inner vibration, the code, the upgrades. The energy from the sun is being scrambled or blocked in the geosphere. It's some kind of, of metal, some kind of shield trying to block. I want to say a microwave. It's all around. It's like a sea of discord, of dissonance. So again, that kind of puts into perspective the negativity and the things that are kind of blocking us from receiving these higher vibrations that need to be cleansed and released. And I think that even though this session was in December of 2017, I think a lot has happened for the energies to lift. And um, I think that this event or light event that's that's coming in maybe soon will also help to continue to cleanse out th- these energies so that we can have access to the higher vibrations more clearly. <clears throat> so that was my client A. And now we're going to go back to client B. In her session, she experiences her guide taking her hand and pulling her down to earth. They were kind of um, out in space looking at the earth. And she says, it feels like we're going around the globe. And on the other side that we didn't see from where we were is a lot of darkness. It feels like a lot of black, like half of the earth is black. That's what it feels like. It looks like it makes me nervous. He's holding my hand. I can see that half the earth globe is black. I don't know what that means. So I asked her guide to clarify why he was showing her this vision. And she said, I saw a sun as if maybe burnt, a bright sun. I just hear burn. I see fire. Okay, all of a sudden I see myself on streets and I see fire and smoke. It's not nice. I see some red. I see the sun, the sun moving around something to do with the sun. The sun is moving and it's changing because behind the sun is all dark and stars and I hear the word strong. So all of a sudden my client B begins to feel like everything is getting a bit darker and that the stars and the galaxy are a little darker now whereas before it was a little lighter. She also noticed that that the earth was getting smaller and she felt like everything is getting darker and finally she notices that there's no sun and this is all happening in her vision and so i ask her can these beings help us to understand what what what's happening to the sun and she says i hear the words burnout dot 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 change i hear the words change a lot so i guess her guides are saying something about these earth changes, what she was shown, the earth being half black or half burned, have something to do with the sun changing. And she she continues her vision and she says that 
as she's observing Earth again, she says that it's getting smaller and smaller, like it's almost disappearing. She said that you can see through it, and you can even see the stars behind it. And I ask if any of the beings can help us to understand what's happening, if her guides can help us to understand. And um, she says, I see some light on the other side. Her guide is showing her light and something that looks like Earth, but with more light. And she says her guide is showing it to her on her right side. She said, he's showing me there's more light. So it's still there somewhere, but it's in a different position. It's in a different place. It's much lighter. So she notices this earth in a different place. Like like one of the earths that she sees is, is getting smaller and smaller and it's disappearing. That earth that had half of it burnt or dark. And then her guide is showing her another earth and it's in a separate place on the other side of where she's looking. And it's brighter and it's lighter. And so I asked, can you tell me what this other earth looks like? And she says, I can't see it anymore. Um, oh, I guess she was referring to the smaller, the smaller earth that was getting smaller and smaller. She said, I can't see it any, anymore. Most of it was getting black and I can't see it. It's so dark in that space. I'm hearing black hole. Like maybe it's there behind the earth, but where was the earth? It's suddenly so far and so dark. I hear the words, it doesn't matter. We're just watching this brighter planet Earth, this second Earth that was shown to her from her guide. She just sees it floating and just being happy. She says, you can just feel how happy it feels, but it floats in a different direction away from the other one, where the black space is now. She said that this other Earth has a light source, but she can't see the sun. And so when I ask her guides where the light's coming from on this other earth, on this newer earth, they immediately and quickly say, source. So I ask her guides, can you explain the vision of the earth and fire and darkness that you showed my client B? And um, they said, there needs to be a change and it's a change, it's a good change. The light will come soon. It's a beautiful light, big change. And I think that that's referring to the event, the light. And so that's kind of the trigger. Um, from what I'm piecing together from a lot of my sessions is this light event that's coming is like almost the trigger of first, it's the raising of our consciousness, releasing all these dark negative energies in order for us to raise our consciousness and awareness and then all these other things to fully kind of roll with the ascension process and this polar shift or this pull shift is not something that's going to happen anytime soon it's a slow process but there might be bigger events in the in the future um and then i ask her guides will there actually be fires is this why you showed her the vision of fire and what came through was yes but not everyone will experience it. The childlike won't experience it. I asked, can you tell me where these fires will take place? And what came through was many places where the forests are and the bad energy. I asked, where do the fires come from? How are they started? What came through again was the sun. The sun will burn the bad energy. The sun is, the sun is doing it through source. It knows what to do. I asked, how can, humans be, how can humans be safe during this time? And what came through was the childlike will be safe. It will be looked after. Again, I asked, is there anything for us to worry about? And they said, no, they need to know that they will be safe, meaning people. People need to know that everyone will be safe. I should also include that in my personal hypnosis session, when I asked about the pole shift, the information about earth changes and disasters happening in places with negative energy also came through for me. Um, I, I was shown a vision of the places on earth that are affected or are the places that hold negative energy and dense cities tend to hold negative energy. And it's possible that these denser cities will 
especially be affected if they are, you know, lower vibrational cities. The earth is cleansing negative energy, and this is what you have to keep in mind. So I then asked Client B's guide to talk more about what these earth changes are going to look like. And I asked, is there going to be more than just fire? And what came through was fires. I'm seeing volcanoes. That's where the fire will come through as well. My client said, the water is detoxing. The water is gaining strength, I'm feeling. There could be splitting in the ground. All of the damage will have come from the sun going through its change, causing earth to react in a certain way. I see a lot of the sun around to be responsible. And I feel like a lot of things happening on earth is the bad energy. It's like the earth is clearing the bad energy that we created and kept for a long time. Because the more light you hold, the more it wants to get rid of the bad energy. She said, I'm hearing like with food, it's like with the diet. If you eat so good and you then eat something bad, then you don't accept it. You can't accept it. You react to it. Your skin's purging. Same with the earth, she said. If there's more people holding the light, then it's purging even more. It's just like the skin with the food. There's that connection. And that's also been shown to me a lot too. It's like your body, when you go through a detox, when you start to eat more clean, your body goes through this period that it just releases all the bad stuff that it's been holding on to in order to be able to incorporate the healthier foods that you're eating. So it's about a purge. The negative energy, the bad energy has to be released in order to incorporate the higher frequency um, energy and vibration. So I asked, how can we stay safe? And what came through was that my client heard the words, everyone will be guided who holds the light, who is of the light. She said, you will be guided to what to do. I can't see any safe spots. You can't hide from any of this because if something happened, it feels like almost human to die. And that's okay because you're moving on to something better. So whatever life is lost is meant to be that way. And there's nothing that can change that. It's just meant to be that way. But it's like seeing this earth fading away and away and away, and then it disappears. That's how I see it. The old earth, it just fades away. It's like being pulled out, maybe through the black hole. It's pulled out by dark energy and only the good will move on. Only the bad remains on the old earth. So it's like that is sucked up into the black hole. It just disappears. It might be that the really bad things won't happen to the new earth. It'll just happen to the old earth, to people who choose not to awaken. Because you have a choice, and that's when they'll experience that. So some people may not experience it, talking about the disasters. And that's interesting because I've also had that information come through it's it's like we're living in this 3d and 5d reality and people who are able to raise their vibration to match a higher frequency they the disasters or the pull shift or any of these negative changes won't affect those who are able to raise their vibration and that's why it keeps being stressed not to worry not to worry and to and that everything's going to work out and that you will be exactly where you need to be so although we're kind of coexisting together on this you know the 3d and 5d are coexisting on this earth before the 3d pulls away from the 5d the 5d people or the people who are able to raise their consciousness and awareness won't be affected they'll be in safe spaces they you know they won't be touched by any of these changes but if you're still existing in the 3d you know, you're not listening to your intuition, you're not listening to your higher self. And so you might find yourself in places that are affected, or you might find yourself being caught up in this lower vibration and negativity that's being re trying to be released. So I think that's also the reason why I'm creating these videos is to really awaken and help bring this information to people who are still living in the, fi in the 3D so that they can begin to raise their consciousness and vibration and awareness. Um, and sometimes just hearing this information allows them to do that. 
And okay, so going on, um, I asked my client B's team, so what about people who are completely unaware? Speaking of unaware people, um, and what came through was that they will be either guided through aware people eventually when the waves come and there will be more people awakening, but there will be certain people who, but there will be certain people will never be a But there will be certain people who will never be aware and it's meant to be. They may have to live through that because that's what their soul chose. It feels like if you're awakening now, then you're meant to go through it in a different way. But if you're not, then you chose to ascend in a different time or a different lifetime. It's just not for them to experience it right now. They're not ready. Their soul is not ready is what I'm hearing is what my client said. So again, it's like if you are awakening, I think everything's going to be okay. You might not even be aware of any changes that are happening, but um, if you're not, then it's just, you know, that's just what that soul meant to experience at this time. And that's actually it for what I wanted to share from these three sessions regarding an upcoming possible light event that will help to raise the consciousness and awareness of everyone on this planet, whether you realize it or not, as well as um, a possible future event or events due to the pull shift. Um, And I'm sharing in order to raise awareness of what information has come through in my sessions and channelings. If you're listening to multiple quantum hypnosis practitioners or if you've had your own session, and if you see or hear any patterns between the different practitioner sessions or between your own session and what I have to share, then I'd love for you to email me or comment below because, you know, I can find patterns within my own sessions and within my own channeling information, but I don't necessarily have the time to follow or listen to many other practitioner sessions as much as I'd I'd want to. So it'd be amazing if you could let me know if you experience or are aware of any of these patterns. Um, I am aware of general ideas that have come through other practitioner sessions, but it's always really good to have confirmation that similar or same experiences are coming through. And that really just allows us all to gain more clarity and awareness. If you're interested in having your own quantum hypnosis session, you can check out my website. It's quantumsoulhypnosis.com or go to quantumhealers.com to find a practitioner near your area. So before I go, I just want to share this strong parting message that came from my client A's guides during, during his session. And what they said at the end was... Each and every one of you on the planet are absolutely connected in every single way, down to the smallest to the largest, from the chromosomes and DNA, to micro dimensions to micro worlds, to expansive universes to suns, galaxies. Every element of everything is you. You should not fear anything. You should not fear. You work together. We are all that one light, that one spark. Everything will be okay. Everything will come to pass. And all will be as it will be, as it should be. Balance will be maintained. Love is key. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to my clients who have allowed me to share their information. If you have any questions or comments, again, leave them below or send me an email. I'd love to hear from you.